Hello guys, it's Sugarbush here, and today I'm going to show you some information about saving. Saving game data in Unity, because I've got this thing called uh, Easy Save. Easy Save here, and it's supposed to save you a lot of time and hassle, but from my experience, it has caused a lot of that. It's been very troublesome, and I did, I was able to figure out the best way to do it. And I'm going to show you that, so so that you don't have to go through the hassle that I went through. Believe me, it was really frustrating. So I want to save you guys that. So first of all, before you even get Easy Save, go to Matthew Ventures' tutorial right here. Okay, this you can do it for free. So what we want to do now yeah. is encrypt that information. So, they... so yeah, he's going to show you how to do it and you can do it for free, okay? So please, try this way, and I did that too, but I would occasionally get a JSON parse error, and for me, I was just so desperate to have something that worked well, so I got easy save, and it took me a while to figure out the best way to do it. So first of all, try this tutorial. If this works for you, stick with it, click out of this video, don't even watch it. But if this doesn't, and you got easy save, Watch this video on the best way to do it. We're going to do pretty much what he did. So, I've already written the code here, so we're going to set up the settings. So, ES3 settings settings equals new, and you use, you use encryption type AES, that means that's going to encrypt the data, and then put in a password here. I haven't actually, I'm not actually going to use that, but it's just for this one. Now, you do have to note that if you have like multiple, if you have like another save, another class that you're using this method with, that's getting passed into this same save file, it must have the same encryption password, otherwise it won't work. Like if you get this uh, could not decrypt file, well it's because my file is actually using a different password. What I've, what's actually been saved in there is using a different password than this. I'm not going to tell you what that is, but just keep that in mind. Okay, so now the settings. We have got encryption type AES, and you put a password in there of your choice. Don't show it to anybody else, because this is how it. This is how the decrypting works. So now we're going to set up its location. Okay, now there are some other options. There are quite a bit of options like here. The only one that works for me is file. Okay, location file is what works for me. Okay, so use that, because that's just going to write it here. And I was, I was at the wrong spot, but it pretty much, it's right here. So this save method, so you can read my comments right here really quick. Yeah, okay. So then it's location file. So then what we're gonna do is pretty similar to Matthew Ventures' tutorial, we're gonna write it to a JSON string. Okay? Now you might be thinking, why don't we just pass the class directly in to Easy Save? Because it's Easy Save actually has some extra supported types that JSON may not support. Well, you can do that if you want, but I found it doesn't really work super well. Some stuff doesn't get saved, all right? So that's why I write it to JSON. We're gonna write it to JSON, and that gives us a string. So we have a string representing the data. So then we're gonna pass that into easy save, and this actually works a lot better for me. Okay, so easy save three, save. So you have your file name. I'm pretty sure that's all stored in this file string the key. Maybe that's actually the encryption key. I don't know. Or maybe this is. So we'll pass in the string data, and then don't forget that you want that to use these settings. All right, don't forget this part. All right, that's actually very important that you put this setting. Otherwise, it's probably going to do like the default settings, which I don't know if they're correct. So, that should give, 
that should be that should cover saving right there just you can just look at this so then when we want to load the data we're going to pretty much do the reverse so we'll get the es3 settings set up again you should just copy copy this and paste it in here i'm going to just do that really quick Control c Control s or Control v i mean and then so we have the settings it's the same stuff as before now we're going to try loading the file the save file now this try and catch i think it means like it's actually going to try running this and if any errors occur we can actually catch something and it, it can continue anything that's down here all right if you just have this outside of the try statement and an error occurs it i don't think it's going to be able to continue the code is just going to halt so that's kind of the use of the try and catch. Now, you cannot have... This try statement requires the catch. I don't know exactly why, but... Okay, anyways, but that's not what's important. What's important is loading. So, gotta remember, what we saved was a JSON string. So let's make sure we're using... That's what we're loading into as well. Alright, we're not loading the J... We're not using easy save 3 to load directly into the class because we didn't save the class directly so we're loading the json string save test yeah so this stuff make sure we're using the settings and then now we have this json string from before and then we're just going to use json utility to convert it back to class black back to the class format and that should essentially do that and then, right here, if there was an error loading the save file, we're going to make a new one. Because the save data couldn't load. So yeah. Again, if I try to save, it's not going to work because I have my save file is using a different password than the settings. So you got to keep that in mind. And that's pretty much all it is. Again, please, please, very much i really insist try this go to this tutorial try it out i'll give a link to that in the in the description and then if that doesn't work then you go to easy save then get easy save and follow my video all right if this one works for you click out of this video you don't need it but if that doesn't work for you and you got easy save follow this video this is gonna this is the real way to save you the hassle all right this is the right path that you should take and yeah, it's pretty much just that. That's pretty much all I wanted to tell you. I really do hope this video helped. And this is how I go about saving. It's just, it's just what works best. So yeah. And I'll see you guys later.